All right, y'all, welcome back to Mastering Mayhem. Thanks for tuning in once again. Today, I'm gonna show you how to assemble the Sunny Health and Fitness SFT440 treadmill. We're gonna go ahead and assemble it for an awesome client of mine. So let's go ahead and do it. Go ahead, all you gotta do is basically unbox it, obviously, and take, a, what we're doing is taking everything off of the treadmill. That way I can actually roll it down the hallway. It's gonna go in this room here. She already has the mat set up for us. So I'll show you guys that once I actually get that treadmill in the room, we'll go ahead and do a uh, quick assembly to show you step-by-step step what goes on first and how to get it properly installed and set up. All right, y'all, so we now have it in the location that the customer would like it to be. And we're gonna go ahead and start looking at the, as you can see there on the arms, I haven't taken the plastic off yet, just so it doesn't cause any type of friction or anything like that but you can do it how you like. Also, there was a uh, strap that went across here that holds the belt and the arms in place for moving while you're installing. Uh, I removed it just because uh, I'm familiar with the item. So again, leave that strap on until you're done if it's your first time. So right here, it shows you as step one, you just get everything out of the carton like we did. It's all set up there. And then step two, it says to put these, uh, loosen the Allen screw and remove the safety block. So let's go ahead and remove the safety block and we'll go from there. This piece right here is the safety block. So let's go ahead and get the Allen wrench and remove that. I'm gonna go ahead and use my impact gun to get the Allen wrench bit. I'm gonna use my drill drivers. Okay, so that is the safety block it is now removed. Okay, so after you get this safety block removed, again, it's on the right side there. Next step is to lift the entire arm and console up. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, it is lifted up and standing. I won't take these off yet until we get the screws in. I'm sure it's gonna ask, that's gonna be the next step here. This is the hardware that comes in the packaging along with the oil bottle. So we will be oiling or lubricating the belt and then with the safety magnet uh, with the cord there is also included. So this is what comes in the box there. Okay, so step number four here requires six bolts at the bottom to attach the two arms to the base. And the way you do that, we're gonna zoom in, you got two on the side here, two on the right side, left side, and two on the front. The two front ones are gonna go right there all right, you got one, two, pre-drilled, pre-threaded, and then three, four. So two on each side of the arm. So you got two holes there, two holes there, and then one on the front side. All the Allen screws are the same length and size, so you don't have to go through any different sizes or whatnot. And then you have to put these uh, anti-slip washers on all the screws to keep them from uh, loosening up or anything like that. So let's go ahead and do that. So we just did the hand tightening for step four. One, two, three, four, five, six, six bolts there. Now we're gonna do the upper portion here which is gonna give the remaining four screws their final resting place here. So two screws going forward, and I'll show you the holes, and then two to the side, basically to hold the uh, upper part of the arm of the uprights to the console uh, section here, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So for step five, these are the holes here. If we, if we come back, you can see right here on the side, you got one, two, and then the front side, one, two. So those are the remaining four uh, bolts and washers. And then we're gonna put those in place and we'll go from there. So we are good to go there for step five. Okay, so at step six, now that we've got all the screws in place, it's telling me to Tighten down the pre-installed uh, Allen screws here on the left and the right side. 
it's the two that were already there uh, at the unboxing. So let's go ahead and tighten everything down and then we'll go on to the next step. All right, so I'm gonna do my best to show you with one hand recording and then the other hand working, but these are the ones we just put in, right? Uh, one, two, three. This is the pre-installed ones that they're asking us to tighten down. So let's just go ahead and do that. And remember, don't over tighten. You want to over tighten because you can strip the thread. You can hear it just clutch a few times. And this guy is solid. It's not going anywhere. The arms are securely in place as we want it to be. So let's go on to the next step. All right, so these guys should just pop into place. You can see I already have it. They just kind of snap around the, the frame and the upright. So let me, I think you gotta lift it though to get the bottom portion on, there you go. Just like that, nice and covered. This guy's about 100 pounds, so again, if you need help lifting a certain section or portion, just go ahead and get some help. And the way you make sure you know you're putting it in the right direction, the front part here is supposed to be covered by a portion of the plastic versus the open side goes away from the front. So again, just lift up a little bit. And this guy just pops into place just like that and you're good to go. No screws involved on that. Okay, remember if this is your first time doing this or you're not familiar with treadmills, step seven says now you can uh, cut the packing belt and the assembly is uh, complete. But remember to insert the safety key into the magnetic area of the console. I'm gonna show you guys that right now. So this is the magnetic safety key. That's gonna go right here. So you just take that out of the bag and it should sit right there. This is just for when you're working out. Make sure you clip that to your shirt or pants or belt. And that way if, if it ever pops off, the machine will stop automatically. So it's a nice little safety feature there. You can clip it to your shirt just enough to, you know, if you go back, cause the treadmill is going too fast and it pulls it away from the magnetic section on the console it'll stop the treadmill automatically let us go on to the next step we should be plugging it in let me just check all right so as you can see here you must lubricate the treadmill before the first use and it says see page 16 so the next page here right here it looks like you just lift up the left and right lip of the belt and put a little lubricating oil in there. Use a rag to thoroughly wipe the lubricant over the running board. Repeat this process for the other side. The moving parts should turn freely and quietly. Abnormal moving parts will affect the safety of the equipment. Inspect and tighten bolts regularly. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You guys will have the instructions when you install it on your own. And so let's go ahead and lubricate this guy. Get it ready to be turned on and running. Okay, so for the oil bottle here, it does have a cap that you can put on after you use it, which is really, really awesome. And I think it can just stay on there. Yeah, so it'll go on like that. But you just got, there's a line here on it. I don't know if you can see it, but just cut the top there, just like that. And then after you're done, you should be able to put this little cap on to keep the oil from coming out. So it's a pretty sweet deal there. Yeah, okay, so it's got a seal, which is no wrong with that. Okay, so again, they want us to oil this up, so uh, you just kind of get your fingers in there, lift the belt up, and then you're just going to open up the cap and just get the oil. You can see it too. It does say to have a rag ready to spread the oil out after you uh, get it onto the uh, platform under the belt and just give it a little dab see what we got yeah so the oil is coming out now I just kind of go back and forth put a little oil okay and again just look under there make sure the oil is there and help spread it you can feel the oil on your on the rag too you know if you got the oil 
Just kind of wipe it around there. Because you don't want to hear any noise according to the directions. There should be no noise. It should be a smooth operation. Let's do this. Again, just lift it up a little bit. Just enough to get the bottle underneath. And just squeeze here, 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 here. Good there. Close this up. And again, follow the recommendations to uh, how often you are to re-oil it. Or you can just hear it if it starts to get um, low on lubrication, it, you'll feel it or hear it. So, And then again, we'll just spread it as well as we can here. Just like that. It should be good there. This guy is ready to be turned on. So the customer plugged it in right there and she turned it on. This is the power button here. Sorry, I'm zoomed in, but this is a little safety deal here that they have where the treadmill contains an overcurrent protection device. This device stops the incoming power when the current exceeds the required amount. To restore the power, press the reset button. So reset button there if you ever need to push that. Power button there. She did turn it on. Everything's good as far as we can tell. We're gonna go ahead and let the belt run and show you guys what it's supposed to sound like and look like. All right, so we're gonna turn the belts on. Just let it run a little bit. There's a little countdown. But it sounds pretty smooth. There is a part there. And again, it may, sometimes just give it a little time. Let the belt go around a few times to get that oil all around. Let's go up a little higher. Okay, now it's going four miles per hour. Sounds pretty smooth. We'll let it run a bit to see if it, because it, it may shift to the left or the right. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is just let it run for about half, half a minute to a minute. Then I'm gonna get on it and run on it a little bit, do a little jogging. You wanna make sure if a gap opens up greater on one side or the other, you wanna adjust it to center the belt, right? And I'll show you how to do that with the two bottom sections there with the Allen wrench that's included. So right now it looks like the right side gap is a little bit bigger than the left side. So we'll see if we need to adjust that if it makes any noise here in the next half minute or so or once I get on and run. All right, let's go ahead and slow it down. It ran for two minutes according to the time there. So yeah, I'm just going to get on and, and do a little walk here. See how it does as I walk, see if it starts scraping, I still want it to scrape. Alright, so it's been going for about three minutes. Plenty of time to see if we need a little adjustment and I think we need to adjust it to the right just a little bit, about a quarter of an inch. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to stop. Oh, that's nice. I like that feature, so when I hit the stop button, it went from three miles to zero gradually, right? So it's a nice little feature there, but. All right, so I don't, I don't know if you can see here, there's a gap right here between the belt. You can actually see the space here. Whereas on the left side, there is no gap underneath the plastic cover, right? Here there is, so I wanna bring this over a little bit and make the belt as center as possible. And it tells you right here, running belt adjustment. To adjust running belt, use Allen wrench. Loosen, you turn to the left, tighten to the right. Same on the right side. This is the location here. One and two. And in the instructions, it'll tell you if you wanna move the belt to the right, to loosen or tighten one side, uh, versus if you wanna, you know, Move the belt to the to the left, so on and so forth. If running belt moves to the right, turn the uh, the adjusting bolt on the right side, quarter turn clockwise. Then turn the left adjustment bolt quarter turn counterclockwise. 
If a running belt does not move, repeat the step until it centers, refer to figure A. So do it quarter turn, and then if the running belt moves to the left, turn the adjusting bolt. So that's where we are, right? The belt is more to the left than it is to the right. So we're gonna do this step here. Turn the adjusting bolts on the left side of quarter clockwise, then the right side of quarter turn clockwise. If the running belt does not move, repeat the step until it centers. And then over time, the running belt will loosen to tighten the running belt. Turn the left and right side adjustment bolts one full turn clockwise. Check the tension of the running belt. Continue this process until the running belt is the correct tension. Make sure to adjust both sides equally to ensure correct belt alignment. So if you want to move the belt or tighten the, or I'm sorry, if you want to tighten the belt, you use uh, two Allen wrenches at the same time. We're going to do the second step, B here. We want to move it to the right. All right, so to move it to the right, it says get this bolt. We're going to, I just got to find it. But yeah, you're going to turn it just a quarter turn clockwise, right? So here we go. Just like that, quarter turn, quarter of a circle, clockwise. And then we're gonna do the right bolt counterclockwise, a quarter of a turn. So let's see if we can get that right about there. Yep, and then counterclockwise, quarter of a turn, a little extra because it was down a little bit. Now we turn it on and we're gonna see if this belt moves to the right a bit. Let's see if this gap closes up. And it looked like it looks like it's already doing it. Be careful here if you put your finger away. It looks like it's moving to the right. Now that gap is pretty much closed up as it is on the left side. So in my professional opinion, it is now center based on where it is. And we are not going to adjust this anymore. I'm gonna show the customer how to do it. But that's it as far as adjusting the belt and having it center. Remember to use these two sizes, use the Allen wrench and you do it by quarter turn increments. Now let me show you guys how this thing folds up and folds down. All right, so to lift the belt so you can store it away if you want, don't lift from underneath the belt. There's actually a bar that's got a gap between the belt and the floor, there's a bar. So grab that. And then you just lift it up. It has a hydraulic on it, so it just kind of it, it rises up easily and then it just locks into place on this orange piece here, right? So as you can see, it's locked in and in order to bring it back down, now you can do different heights too here with this guy, which is pretty sweet. That's another discussion here. Uh, so to bring it down, you just kind of push up and then you can use your foot or your hand here and then just let it drop a little bit. And once it starts dropping, it releases and the hydraulic, it'll do it on its own. If you let it, you don't have to hold it, right? And at the end, it really slows down for you. So it's really easy, not very heavy. I'd say maybe 30 pound feel on it. Well, I wanna show you two things here. So this comes as part of this particular model. These are feet so you can raise and lower the belt a little bit if you want so it doesn't sit low and you can have a little bit of a different angle. You get three different angles there, but let's say we want it here so it sits a little higher. But the way to bring this down is you just push it forward here on this bar. This is the bar I was speaking of. And then just push the orange part in and let it start coming down. It'll come down by itself or you can help it along. But that hydraulic is pretty awesome. And then these feet, you can raise it up a bit if you want it to be higher than, than usual or more level. Uh, so that sits up. This makes it level. If you have it on the highest setting here for the feet, it makes it level. And then if you want it to be down, you have more of an incline on it. So we'll leave it, we'll leave it where it was quick to do and now it'll have a incline when you're running let's go ahead and push that down you can use your foot pushing that orange tab yeah just let it fall into place and you're good all right just wanted to show you a few more features on this treadmill is you got these metal plates here to keep track if you hold on to this while you exercise it'll it'll show or display your pulse which is really nice 
And then if you don't want to reach for the console to turn the speed, you know, to increase the speed or decrease it, or to turn the treadmill on and off, you have these little buttons here, push buttons for speed, increase, decrease, start, stop. So it's here too on the bars or the handlebars if you want to use that versus the console area. This guy is good to go. All right, well, thank you once again for joining me here at Mastery Mayhem. We have assembled the Sunny Health and Fitness treadmill. It's good to go. I'm just gonna show the customer a few of the things that she uh, should be familiar with concerning her new treadmill. And we are done with this assembly and installation. I'm pretty sure she's gonna enjoy it. Um, so always uh, remember that I appreciate your support by liking, sharing, commenting, clicking the notification bell for future uh, videos and subscribing, of course, if you haven't subscribed already. And um, as always, I'm looking for the best tools, tech, DIYs and deals for you. Until next time, I only hope all the best to you and yours.